congratulations on the new album. Thank you so much. Mirror 25 is the name of the album. I'm putting it out independently. Mirror 25, this is your third album, right? Thank so you, thank you so much. I'm um, so excited to be sharing this with the world because it's a lot of great songs. I've been in the business for 25 years and been doing a lot of self-reflection, reflecting on everything that I've been through, everything I managed to overcome. And I know you are celebrating today. You had a release party for the song Ran Ran with Buster. Yes, I'm so excited. I'm just pulling up at my release party and the single is out. We blocked the streets. I rode up on a horse and I was like, hee-haw! Hee-haw! Round, round, round and round. I'm having fun, that's really what matters. And having Buster come on it, the legendary boss man. I took a risk because it's a sound that dancehall is not too familiar with. You've never heard a real hardcore dancehall mixed with country and mixed with hip hop. And I'm just super grateful to have Icon, a legend, to come and bless me on this record. The T song, you said you went into your archive for that. I did. I went into my archive too. Oh, really? Look what I kept it all found. Oh, wow! Reshma! You got my first CD. <sighs> Let me come back to some... Ooh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, Lord. It gave me a rush of emotion, like... When I said it in 2085T, just looking back at things that I archived, just kind of put in my past. I've really been through, I don't think people understand how much I've really been through. And when I saw this CD, it just reminded me how far back I've been struggling to make it to this point. I come from humble beginnings and I always use that slogan from homeless to greatness, you know? And I just stay on that word and I believe it. legend I want to shout out is Cartel. <sighs> yes. You have never ever wavered to big up Cartel. Yes, because he's not out here. So the least I can do is keep his name going. So every stage show I go, I make sure that I perform the songs that we do together, that I call them out like Vibes Cartel, Vibes Cartel. So I got to keep his name out here. <laughs> I remember when I thought he was going to come out, I had changed my flight to stay back in Jamaica just because I wanted to run outside with two pot covers. Like, I just want to be there with the excitement. I want to be in the streets. I want to be celebrating. It's going to be a holiday. It's a national holiday for cartel. Mm -hmm. I'm going to talk about the Grammys. You know, you didn't win that Grammy. I should correct you. I did win. I'm happy to be the first hardcore dancehall artist to be nominated for a Grammy. There's not a dancehall category in major big award shows. There's still reggae. So I feel like we are still living off of what Bob Marley did. We need to step up to the table and change that. And so even though I don't have the physical Grammy, the fact that I'm Grammy nominated, I opened a gate for other dancehall artists. And I feel like as the queen of dancehall, it's my job to try to push dancehall to another level, no matter what it takes.